intimate, closely personal, to be near, familiar, not distant or far, especially for the soul that seeks him within the Hebrew context, intimate, to resort to or to frequent, as in location. This affinity of I long to be where you are aptly describes our feelings for one another. But how many occasions are there that we are keenly and routinely aware that the God of humanity persist actively within our midst. Now, in our presence, closely intimate and near his creation. In retrospect, as we attend various and preferred places of worship, we wrestle at times with this temptation of being diverted distracted even, maybe led away subconsciously by the religious experiences within our heritage. Historical and liturgical expectations shadow us as well, any number of them possessing the ability to sway us, to influence us. So we enter the edifice and our focus is directed towards the choir, the band, the screen. We must not forget the tithe and or offerings lest we believe God withholds his blessing from us so we're misinformed at times. Yet, in that very moment, the brevity of our attention span becomes reality as we're sickened by worry, contemplating, paying the tent, or the rent, as eviction beckons tomorrow morning as the sun dawns. It could be that we're tied up, wrapped up in my denomination, my pastor, my opinion, all having their place of influence and in how we can minimize God's invitation to simply come, come and simply be with my, your, our God. Emmanuel, God is with us. The presence of God. Even in the midst of never-ending activities, schedules, rituals, or maybe even legalism, do we purpose moments of seclusion, muting our surroundings to experience the overwhelming presence of our praiseworthy God settling within the intimacy of His presence? It is at these solitary moments that reality whispers, He is here. God is there. He is everywhere. Just as the writer of the 46th Psalm informs his audience, cease striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Selah. Selah. Ponder. Meditate deeply about. Do we carefully think through being in the presence of a holiness which requires His assistance 
to merely keep our fragile and wandering minds from going astray. In His presence, there is no thought, nothing, or no one else that even matters. At this moment, fearfully respect a holy presence which is able to illuminate the stain of our sinfulness, and yet he still beckons us to come to receive his mercy, his grace, his salvation, his presence, wiping tears, calming fears, forgetting sins, restoring within. As the Lord instructed Moses, take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Our attendance, his company. We must seek it early, often, frequent him, long to become holy. He is near, he is never far. God is intimate. And for this cause, as we work, as we consume, we are consumed by His grace, His mercy, and His love. May we always consider the busyness of our lives within the context of His gracious hands. May we be reminded in each day of every hour or moment that our next breath, the very next step, They are firmly encased within His existence, for it is in Him that we live, move, and have our being. A God of galaxies, yes, He remains near. And amidst the constancy of our goings and our doings, May we be inspired to pause for encounters with the one whose pursuit of our hearts, our time, and our love remains as relentless as he is intimate with his creation.